Good morning, everyone. Um, I went ahead and uh, decided to do another YouTube video because of certain things that's been going on. And let me be frank, it, it's just been happening for the longest time now. And it's just, the shit is getting so old. So I decided to go ahead and uh, make a video on it. And, uh, you know, it's... One could say that YouTube is, is poisonous to to uh, other people, but you know when you look at it, it's really the people that's making YouTube poisonous. Um, I believe in being a you know a free speech and all, but there's just a point where it goes from being free speech to just pure ignorance. And you find this a lot on, on YouTube. <coughs> and I'm not just talking about, you know, Xbox and, and Sony guys going at it. I mean, mostly on Xbox as far as I see. Um, they're just, they're, they're, they just refuse to see certain things about, the, about their system. Now, I'm getting an Xbox One X. Uh, I would just go ahead and support them. I'm going to do my thing. Um, I'm about games, so I'm looking forward to uh, to uh, State of Decay 2 and, and a few others. Uh, what and that's what really you know kind of made me decide to get uh, Xbox One X. But anyways, the point is, is you know you have these people that treat other people like crap um, just because they like a certain product that the other person doesn't. And it's just, it's gotten to the point where it's just it's really ridiculous and kind of point these people out and you know or what one says just ignore them. It really doesn't fix the problem. Uh, at this point, I don't know what will because it seems they're not very intelligent themselves. Uh, you know, you can use facts. To prove them wrong but they refuse to see it and they rather just talk down to people and so just and you know and i really don't care if they're saying oh i'm wrong okay you're right i'm wrong no i just want them to shut up if you're wrong then you're wrong that's all there's to it i don't expect you to apologize to me i just want you to stop to, you know just to, to shut your pie holes basically what i want you to do but you know when when things when you know they can't when they don't have the proof you know of course they attack other people it's just that's just really annoying to me but yeah they're pretty much polluting youtube but it's not just um it's just not these people are the xbox because i'm not going to sit here and put all blame on them um it's pretty much anyone that's a closed-minded person they you know, they just want to troll other channels and attack people for no good reasons. I guess because they're losers themselves and they have nothing better to do. But I remember, you know, back in in my younger years. Well, when I was a when I was young. Well, when I was a kid, my grandfather he owned a two story house. Uh, it was it was a pretty big house. Okay, and. Yeah, I remember us going up, you know, me and my sisters running up the stairs to the, through the French doors and onto the balcony. And we would look at other kids play on the streets. And it was very peaceful. And even when we played uh, in his yard, you know, and our, our ball would go over the fence to the neighbors or something. Even though he knew the neighbors very well and everyone knew each other and where they worked at and so on and so forth. You still, you know, he still made us ask permission. And so, yeah, we would go to the door and ask permission for if we can go to the person's yard and, and get our ball. Of course, they, they didn't care, but they appreciated that you asked them instead of just, you know, jumping under, jumping the fence and walking all over the lawn. There's some people that really love their lawn and, and they don't like people on it. And there's other people that really don't care, but they want the respect. You know, they bought... They own the property, so, you know, what gives you the right to tell them it's okay if you walk on their property? You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, 
It's like someone coming and just taking your car for no good reason just because they wanted to borrow it, you know? It's basically the same thing. You own it. You own the land, so why not ask? But people nowadays just don't. Uh, I, you know, I, we live in a house that has about half acre lot. And I have people just walking through there. Uh, when I first moved here, um, it's my sister's place. And when I first moved here, you know, there are just people walking through it left to right. And I, I just got tired of it. And I went out there and I just stood out there and I just told them, you know, hey, what, what the fuck are you thinking you're doing? They were like, oh, I'm sorry, you own this land? Uh, yeah, of course I own it. Even if I didn't own it, what gives you the right to walk across it? You know, you don't own it. And that's what a lot of people don't understand is it's out of respect. It doesn't matter if it if it hurts the grass or not. It's just out of respect. And a lot of people don't see that nowadays, especially on the inner tube, or on the inner tube, <laughs> especially on YouTube, where they can hide behind their computers and attack people. Because, you know, these, these, these you know, these jackasses you know they're coward people because they would never dare say that to anybody to their face they they wouldn't you know we all know they're, they're all chicken shits they wouldn't say that they can hide behind their computers now and do all that and you know back when i was a child we didn't have internet you know internet wasn't it was just military and large corporations that used it i mean we knew of it but we never you know it wasn't part of the civilian population so you know if you had a if you had a disagreement with someone it was face to face and you respected that person regardless if they're bigger than you or you know if you you know you didn't want to look like a jackass so of course you weren't gonna you know spread false information uh especially when there was a group of people standing there you know you're just like oh no no i'm not you know but now they can spread these false information and hide behind their computer and they can always walk away, you know, it just, it just, I think, I think, you know, this, I, I can't say all, but a good, a good portion of teens nowadays and younger adults are just pure chicken shit because of it. Um, you know, they, they don't have the guts to stand up to someone face to face. And this is what the internet allows. It allows people to act this way. Um, but I have met a lot of people that, a lot of younger people, that has definitely made me proud for serving my country. Uh, when you know when I see just nothing but dumb people acting like jackasses on the internet. I just kind of think to myself, wow, why, what was the sense of me even joining the military, you know, and I'm a disabled vet, what was the sense of, what was the purpose? And there's times where I'm just like, I wish there was another country that just take over the United States, then they would see how hard they have it. Because what they don't realize is, what civilians don't realize is every life, for their life, the, it takes a life. So for them to live the life they are living, it takes an enemy's life or it takes a soldier's life. And that's the cost of their, their way of life. It's, you know, and there's people that maybe said, well, I never asked you to, to, to join the military. But that was the cool thing about it is that they never had to. We knew it was, uh, we knew that there's some of us that had to serve to keep the country the way it is, you know, to keep the freedoms that we have. And other people may say, well, you don't have freedoms because, you know, you're thrown, you're, um, you know they're they're throwing out immigrants and stuff and that's what started the country you know and uh i'm not gonna get political but when it comes down to it um most immigrants that don't have a social security number they don't they don't pay their taxes and whatever money they do make they send out of state now there's statistics showing it for that to be true but like i said i'm not gonna get political and i'm not i'm not gonna sit here and show you statistic after statistic you're going to have to look it up yourself, you know, be, be a smarter person and look up the information for yourself. So just listen to what someone says and believe me what they say. I encourage you to look it up. Um, you know, and people don't, they also don't, um, you know, when they, when they do something stupid, they, they try to pawn it off on someone else. You know, when, it sh when the shit hits the fan, they don't take the blame for themselves. Such as uh, Kathy, Kathy Griffin, when she held the 
Trump's severed head up. And in a video, she said, oh, we're going to have to move out. We're going to have to move out of the United States after this. So she knew what she was doing was wrong, you know, but she did it anyways. And and it wasn't really the Trump that attacked her and, and ruined her career. It was the people that disagreed for what she did. You know, it wasn't Trump that she had to worry about. It was the public she had to worry about because the public is what makes you or breaks you. And she pissed off everybody when she did that. Even people that didn't support Trump. Because they knew that was wrong. That was that was a really gross thing that she did. And, and then she tries to put the blame on Trump. He's like, he ruined me. He, he broke me. No, dumb bitch. You broke yourself. You ruined your own career. Not him. It was your decision to do this. And you knew it was wrong. Um, I have to give a shout out to Craig Harris. Um, he definitely does not um he doesn't you know he doesn't uh, lie about any when it co- anything when it comes to gaming he's very truthful when it comes to all platforms and there's a guy in there that's his name's halo but he's just he's young he's dumb and no matter what you try to do you can't convince him. I mean if you have proof showing him in black and white writing he's just like oh, i just don't believe it so craig thank you for putting out your you know your information and being truthful to the to the whole game gaming community and i encourage you to keep up the good work um another one i want to give a shout out to is a very young a young man that i'm very impressed with his name uh if you go on youtube and look up some black guy he has a lot of great information it's not really about gaming it's political stuff but what he says is true and he's not the only young adult that i see uh making videos like that there's other ones that do it and i really encourage them to keep doing what they're doing because they're only putting out the truth um and it makes me happy because uh, you know my sacrifice for going in the military and doing the things i do show it proves that there's people out there that's willing to actually take up their own fight you don't have to be you don't have to be all gun home going to military to to take up the fight you just have to believe in the truth and doing what and and not jumping on the bandwagon like everyone else is be true to yourself look up the information and and do the right thing you know and that's all that's all i ever asked you know one of the things that my grandfather always told me well, he told me when I went into the military, is he told me not to be the best soldier, but just be a good soldier. And and I'm not asking the civilians to be the best and to be 100% every single time, but I do ask them to be good and to do their best to have the correct information so others uh, may follow in your footsteps. And as the rest of us... Uh, you know take the fight um outside of the united states we need people like craig harris and some black guy to take the fight here you within our borders so it makes me feel really really good to see such young adults having clear heads and and doing the right thing and even though there's so many people that turn on them they still don't back down and that's that's very commendable uh, you know, it's so easy to falter and just go with the crowd so, you know, you don't be attacked any longer. You know, it's just easier to just, just to do the wrong thing, as they say in the military. But I appreciate you guys doing what you're doing and all those out there that's, that's doing the correct thing. You know, yes, the United States has some issues and we need to fix them. But lying about certain things or trying to bring out the bring down the president is just ridiculous you know we should be supporting him i didn't vote for him but we should still be supporting him because it only benefits us if he succeeds anyways i gotta get going thank you guys for listening to my rant and have a wonderful day